What is up, everyone? We are in Eastern Market, standing outside the very famous Gratiot Central Market, where people come on Saturdays to get a lot of their meat. But tucked inside the Gratiot Central Market is Piecek pierogi, and it is some of the best pierogies in all of Detroit and Hamtramck. Welcome to Isaac Eats. We are with Erica, and I'm going to try to get this right. Piecek? Correct. Yeah, you I, did I great. Did right. You did great. I admittedly tried this about three or four times outside, and it never came out right. Piech. I have to do it. Please pronounce the word pierogi for me, because we talked about this before. I can't produce that sound that you can pronounce with your, I'm assuming you're Polish, yes. right? With your Polish accent. Pierogi. What? Wait, so pierogi. Yeah, pierogi. Yes. With no S at the end, which is pretty critical because when we hear people say that, they always use the plural, yeah. and pierogi is already plural. Correct. So Erica, walk us through how you got started and how you got into the Gratiot Central Market. So I've been making pierogi my whole life. It started with just family, and then as I was in Polish folk dance, we would make them in a large production line for fundraisers. And then as an adult, I started bartending in Hamtramck, and my friends wanted food, so I said I would make pierogi, and little to my knowledge that my pierogi were better than the other ones on the market. So I started looking into the logistics of could I make this a business? And then I decided to start doing pop-ups. And then it came to this culmination where a friend of mine said, I think I found this really good kitchen that you would fit into. And I came here and I said, holy crap, it's already painted the colors I want it to be. So it must be ready for me. This is like perfect for you. Yeah, um, flag colors, it was perfect. How long have you been inside this market? We just had our two year anniversary two weeks ago. The second weekend of September is always our anniversary. This year we had a pierogi eating contest and we also had- I was not invited to this pierogi eating contest and now I'm like, my feelings are hurt. Why was I not on this guest list? Next year, we'll have you in a star spot. Wait, wait, tell me, I wanna know more about this this eating contest. We did potato and cheese, so that way it was very even for everybody, and the winner ate 24 in an hour period. And then we did a dill pickle juice slippy cup competition. I'm honestly mad that I did not know about this because now it seems, it just seems like so much fun. So tell us why your pierogi are better than everyone else. We keep it simple so we stuck to our traditional family dough recipe which is a secret and i can't tell but my grandma makes the best everyone has a secret everyone i talk to has a secret recipe and it makes me feel better inside that they're doing something that i don't know about and then with our fillings we choose to use really high-end ingredients cheeses and potatoes for it so everything that you're eating is tested it's balanced all of our chefs in our kitchen are very educated on having balanced palate food. So everything that you're gonna eat is going to be seasoned correctly. It's not gonna be too salty. It's not gonna be too spicy. It always hits that perfect medium spot to make you happy. And then you have these memories with all of our traditional food that take you back to being at your grandma's house when you were little. It's like the perfect homemade food. So can you show us exactly like what, what goes into making these pierogi? Okay. Let's do it. I have a few different types of pierogi here for you and we're going to show you how to steam and cook them. Uh, there's the option where you could put them in just water and steam them for a little bit so that way they're more boiled, uh, which is sometimes a more traditional Polish way of eating them, but we are going to cook them the American way and saute them. So, you we, them so nice we, we, we're not getting the Polish version, we're getting the American Polish version. Yes. Got it. Okay. I kind of prefer it better. Ooh. Look at the, the butter sizzling. So you steam first. Yes. Yeah, so first you let it just kind of like saute for a second, then you steam it. Yeah, it's nice and soft on the inside and the dough is like not over dry. 
it a little bit of moisture. My partner's grandma had a saying that everybody loves butter. Yeah. And we very much love butter. It that. makes everything taste better. I'm full of butter. I had to walk away from them while I get everything else set up. Oh, look at that. I'm gonna make you one of our pierogi tacos too. Ooh, you know I love tacos, Erica. Two worlds coming together. Yes. And like I said, you know, we have Kennedy who is special and she's vegan, so we're always looking. Well, here at Isaac Eats, we're always trying to please everyone. So we have we have the vegan the vegan options for our friend. Would you eat your vegan pierogi over your other pierogi? I wouldn't eat them over the other pierogi, but I like them in their own sense because the dough is a little bit different. So because you don't have eggs or dairy or anything in it, you have to substitute a little bit, but it gives it a little bit different crispness, which is really nice. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna take your word for it because I am not a, a vegan person, as we can tell by yeah. looking at me. On our standard menu on a Saturday, we have nine to 10 different types of pierogi. And then in our freezers, we typically have between 20 to 30 different types. Of it's like, there's like a special freezer menu and then just the, the fresh menu, yeah. right? So your favorite so, is the potato and cheese? Yeah, potato and cheese. And then, uh, so the Holy Gouda is our smoked Gouda baked potato and chives. That, that sounds amazing. We have uh, blueberry cheesecake, a strawberry shortcake, uh, Wait, yeah. strawberry shortcake oh, dumpling. Yeah. So you have dessert dumplings. Oh yeah. I did not know that. Oh yeah. Apple pie filling ones, which mm. are. Please tell me you favorite. don't do pumpkin pie dumpling. Or oh, we have a pumpkin like spice latte one too. Hashtag <laughs> So, Megan just noticed your tattoo, which I didn't notice. Tell us about it. So, when I was opening up the store, I wanted to get something to show how dedicated I was to making pierogi, and so this is an osteo pierogi, uh, and this is how I'm gonna be when I'm older. So it's like a walker. Oh my God, that is amazing. Yeah. It's one of my favorite things I've seen. That's hilarious. Filling inside of it, and then we have sauteed sauerkraut with smoked kabasa, jalapenos, sour cream, and then the look at you. The, the you did like the, the, the salt bay, cilantro bay, and look at this. Look at this. So, you've made for us a whole like potpourri. Of, of pierogi. So we talked about the pierogi taco, which I really just want to put my face in it. And I don't even want to put my mouth in. I just want to stuff my face in the whole thing. But go through every single one that, you, that you've that you made for us. These are the vegan yes. ones because they look different. Yes. So these are our vegan fungi pierogi. So it is fungi. a vegan version of our regular fungi. So it's a mushroom cheddar with vegan cheddar cheese. And then we have our Becky pierogi, which is our jalapeno popper pierogi. And then this is our ambrosia filling, which is a spinach, feta, garlic, and pepper. When you said spinach, that almost makes me think it's healthy. Yeah, you know, it's like Popeye. You gotta eat your spinach. Mm. Mm. Um. This one's gonna be your favorite. So this one is our holy gouda. It is smoked. Oh, this is the one gouda. with the bacon. Yeah, smoked gouda, bacon, potatoes and chives, uh, garlic, pepper. Can we rename this the Isaac? Um, the Isaac. Pierogi? Yeah. Just for yeah. today, it's going to be called the, the Isaac Bro. This is the Isaac. Yes. Oh, and I then we it. have our traditional OG. Pierogi. The OG. So this is my Bapja's potato and cheese recipe that I've been making my whole life. It's the first thing I've ever made. This is stunning. It is just a, you're, you're a pierogi artist. Thank you. Truly. So you're gonna eat some food? Yes. This is the OG pierogi. This is the potato and cheese. So when people talk about 
pierogi. This is usually what they're talking about. And I gotta tell you, it just smells so good. And there's just like a, a crispness to this. So it feels, it's steamed, but then she puts a, like the, the butter browns just enough where it gives you that, that extra taste. So good. The, the flavors are so simple. But to me, the best thing about a pierogi is that it's like, it's almost like a slider, it is snack size. The OG pierogi is an 8.7. I think this is the smoked Gouda one. Oh man, I wish we could transfer just how like crisp it is on the, on the bottom. It's like, oh yeah. Oh my God. The Gouda and the bacon together. This is a, this is a perfect mix, mixture. I used to think the jalapeno and, and cheese one was my favorite. This one, this one is my, this one is my favorite. Wow. There's so much flavor inside with the smoked Gouda bacon. I can't remember what else she said was in here. Delicious is what it is. A 9.2. This is one of my favorite things we've ever eaten on, on Isaac Eats. It is that good. Nobody touched these. These are these are Isaacs. This is unlike anything else. You don't get pierogi tacos from other places. This is jalapeno, kielbasa. She she sprinkled some cilantro for me on the top with the with the sour cream. Oh my god. She put the pierogi filling inside the taco shell. You combine that with the kielbasa and the, and the jalapeno and the sauerkraut. Oh my God, this is a 9.1. I, I almost want to say this is better than the smoked gouda, but they're, they're two totally like different things. I would eat this every day of my life and I would be fat and I would be okay with it. We have the vegan one and of course you guys know I am not the vegan. Enter in our vegan model, Kennedy. Kennedy, vegan. these are um, a mushroom. This is the mushroom vegan. And she uses like a flax seed to kind of just like pan fry it, I would say. So you are our vegan expert. Give us our vegan. Yeah, I guess so. I mean like, yes. This is Isaac Eats, not like, this isn't fancy. Okay. Full disclosure, I got a wisdom tooth out, so I need to be careful. Excuses. Yes, be careful though. Oh my God, that's good. It's really hard to find good vegan cheddar cheese and they did it. I will that. take your word that we can't find vegan cheddar no, cheese. It, it's literally a lot of it is God awful and this is actually good. And I would not lie about that because vegan cheese that's good is hard to come by. So. Well, we appreciate it. Thank you, Kennedy. Thank you. That's it for this edition of Isaac Eats from, and I'm gonna try to get this right, Piacek Pierogi. I am going to bite into my favorite. Well, it was my favorite before we ate the smoked Gouda one as our, our, our goodbye to you. Oh mom, I love pierogi. I am a pierogi, I'm shaped like one. <laughs>